For many people, earbud type headphones are one of life's little pleasures. And now Apple is set to upgrade their best selling AirPods with some new features. It's Thursday, February 22nd. Welcome to DT Daily. And Bloomberg says Cupertino is getting ready to give the AirPods a makeover. They also say the signature white earbuds have accounted for an astounding 85% of the money spent in the US on wireless earbuds since they debuted in 2016. Wow. That's pretty nuts for a first gen product, but the AirPods have been yet another breakout product for Apple, and it can still be tough to reel in a pair. Bloomberg says the AirPod update will include added water resistance, but not so much that you can swim with them, along with an upgrade to the W1 chip that powers them. The Series 3 Apple Watch uses a W2 chip now, so we think the 2.0 AirPods may get a W3 iteration. There will be a quiz later. Another improvement, a Siri command integration without having to touch the AirPods to activate the digital assistant. There's also an update for the handy AirPod charging case in the works. It should get wireless recharging ability in the next go around. Hit the link for more details. Remember how the FCC repealed the Obama era net neutrality laws? And as far as you could tell, nothing really happened, right? Well, that's because nothing has happened yet since the rule changes haven't taken effect yet. But that all changes soon. The FCC says April 23rd will be the day internet service providers, or ISPs, will be able to do and charge what they wish as the old rules go away. So what kinds of changes might you see? ISPs will be able to prioritize traffic to websites that pay them to prioritize their site. Meaning if you don't pay the ISP, your site traffic could start to tick down. That's bad news for a lot of sites. Also consumers, you and I, may have to pay your ISP, like Comcast, Charter, and so on, a lot more just to get services like streaming video or other data intensive services such as Netflix, Amazon Video, Hulu, and so on. Sounds great, right? Yeah, not really. So can anything be done to preserve net neutrality before the deadline? Some states and trade groups are going to court over the new rules, or lack of them, but court fights like that can take years, decades even. The best thing to do would be to contact your congressmen and senators, and if you still don't understand what net neutrality is or what the internet looks like without it, we have a link to a video that will help explain it in a novel fashion. Mobile World Congress is just around the corner and we're getting our first look at one of the first feature-packed $1,000 Android smartphones to hit the market. Galaxy S9, right? Nope, it's the S61 from smartphone icon Caterpillar. And if you work with heavy equipment or are in construction or just heavy industry in general, this is definitely the phone for you. It ain't thin since it's packing a 4,500 milliamp battery, but it needs all that juice for its suite of special features, which includes a FLIR thermal camera system, an air quality and pollution sensor array, ambient temperature sensor, and even a digital tape measure and 2D volumetric system for measuring how much tile you're gonna need for that bathroom floor. Pretty cool. That's all in addition to some of the usual suspects, a full HD screen that works when wet or with gloves, 16 megapixel rear camera, eight megapixel selfie cam, four gigs of RAM, Android 8 Oreo OS, a Snapdragon processor, 64 gigs of storage, and so on. Oh, and it's built to 810G military toughness standards, so you don't even need a case. It's practically Arnold approved. However, so far, no plans to bring it to the US. Sure, it's a bit chunky, but Kat says the S-series phones have been hugely popular, and we can understand why. Check out our hands-on look at this truly tough phone at the link, and be sure to check out the rest of the top tech news at digitaltrends.com on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to tune in live at 2.30 p.m. Pacific today for Trends with Benefits, our roundtable tech podcast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.